How many kinds of tea are there in China? I'm afraid no one knows the exact number. The country is the world's largest tea consumer and producer. So here it is so often the variety rather than the brand that defines the tea. Chinese people do not like to drink tea mixed with two or more ingredients or artificial flavorings. The secret to enjoying tea lies in the word taste. Add a few dry leaves, pour boiled water into the cup, and you'll have the fragrance of tea that is enough to lead to endless aftertaste. From extracting juice by chewing fresh tea leaves in ancient times, to later boiling tea with spices, and then to making tea today using only tea leaves and boiled water. The Chinese people's long history of tea has gone through the changes of medicinal use, edible food, and drinking as a beverage. There are also numerous ways of making tea in various regions and for different types of tea leaves. Located in the northern Fujian province of China, Zhenghe City is abundant with white tea. It is surrounded by mountains and has an average altitude of 800 meters, an average temperature of 16 degrees Celsius, and more than 1,907 hours of sunshine per year. These are excellent conditions for the growth and precipitation of tea materials. In these mountains and valleys, tea absorbs the essence of nature. The highest grade of white tea is called the silver needle. The bud on the top is fleshy, white as silver, and covered with white fluff, which are the features of good silver needle. The Chinese categorize six kinds of tea by color. Green tea, white tea, yellow tea, oolong tea, black tea, and dark green tea. The color of the tea soup goes from light to dark and the degree of fermentation of tea leaves changes from weak to strong in the process of tea making. Among the six kinds of tea, white tea is the simplest to make. The leaves are neither fried nor kneaded and only require the two processes of withering and drying. Without stir frying or kneading, the tea can retain the original nutrients to the greatest extent, locking in the original taste. Central to a tea lover's world is the tea room and the tea mat. In Beijing, Zhao Weimin's tea room is considered a dream space. To the Chinese, the pleasure of consuming tea is not only for their health benefits, but also for their spiritual satisfaction. Tsuchen 其 drinking is inextricably linked with Chinese life. Being mild as tea is the Chinese people's attitude towards everything in life. They are enjoying tea from the street tea houses to temples and halls, tasting life's poetry within its endless fragrance.